Hello, my name is Dr. Selva. I'm a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist at Makota Medical Center, Malacca. Many patients and even doctors do not know the difference between a fibroid and an adenomyosis. In this video, I will explain the difference between these two diseases. What is the difference between a fibroid and an adenomyosis? In both conditions, the uterus is enlarged. This is a diagrammatic representation of a female genital tract. This is the muscle of the uterus and it's called the myometrium. This is the inner lining of the uterus and it is called the endometrium. Fibroid occurs when one of the muscle fibers in the myometrium multiply rapidly to form a tumor and this tumor is called a fibroid. A fibroid is covered by a capsule, so it is easy to distinguish a fibroid from its surrounding myometrium. It is also easy to remove a fibroid from the uterus during surgery, and the surgery is called myomectomy. Adenomyosis occurs when the endometrium is found in the myometrium of the uterus and the endometrial tissue is spread in the myometrial layer and causes enlargement of the uterus. The endometrial tissue is not well defined as in a fibroid and can be found all over the myometrium. There are two types of adenomyosis, namely focal adenomyosis and diffuse adenomyosis. Focal adenomyosis is when adenomyosis is found in only one part of the uterus. In diffuse adenomyosis, endometrial tissue is found throughout the entire uterus. In focal adenomyosis, it is possible to remove part of the adenomyosis. However, some adenomyosis will still be present in the uterus and it can grow back. In diffuse adenomyosis, since the endometrial tissue is found all over the uterus, it is impossible to remove the adenomyosis. When surgery is performed, usually the whole uterus have to be removed. Symptoms Both conditions present with an enlarged uterus. The patient may feel a lump in the lower abdomen above the pubic bone. Many patients with fibroids do not have any pelvic pain or heavy periods. If they have these symptoms, it is usually because of a fibroid involving the endometrial cavity and it is called a submucous fibroid. Adenomyosis patients usually complain of severe period pain and heavy menstruation. Sometimes a patient may have both fibroid and adenomyosis. Diagnosis Ultrasound can be used to differentiate a fibroid from an adenomyosis. In this ultrasound, the fibroid can be seen clearly. It has a clear outline and can be differentiated from the myometrium of the uterus because it has a clear capsule. This is an ultrasound picture of a focal adenomyosis. There is a bulge and some changes in the posterior wall of the uterus. There is no clear demarcation of the adenomyotic nodule. Other parts of the uterus are normal. This is diffuse adenomyosis. The uterus is enlarged and the adenomyotic lesion is found all over the uterine wall. MRI is best for diagnosing adenomyosis. This MRI shows a focal adenomyosis involving only the posterior wall of the uterus. This MRI shows diffuse adenomyosis involving most of the uterus. Conclusion It is important to make a correct diagnosis whether an enlarged uterus is caused by fibroids or adenomyosis. Treatment will differ in these two different conditions. Thank you.